Hello and welcome to the 85th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at toggleable tabs. We'll be using the source code from the 6th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Toggleable tabs allow you to basically toggle between different views which have their own data and elements. This is great as you don't need separate pages for each view, saving the user time and also saving network usage as well, plus saving coding from your perspective as a developer. Also, another great thing about toggleable tabs is it allows you to hide certain pieces of information because you don't want it all on the page, you want it relative to, relevant I should say, to what the user is doing. So to do this, it is pretty simple. There's quite a bit of code, but it's not too hard to get your head around it. So let's open up our index.html. And if we scroll down, what we're going to do at the bottom, after the row, we're going to put our toggleable tab. You can put it within the row, put it within the column. That is fine. We actually recommend doing that as an extra task just to see how it reacts when resizing. But we're just going to put it afterwards. So I'm going to do div row equals tab panel and now in here what we're going to have is a unordered list so we're going to do unordered list class and I'm going to put nav nav tabs and put a row and the row is going to be tab list This, oh sorry, these classes here, nav and nav tabs, are built into Bootstrap, as are most of the classes that we've used in the series, so you don't need to worry about them from a CSS perspective. Inside, we're going to put our list items. So I'm going to put li, and it's going to have a role. And this role is going to be simple, it's going to be presentation. And inside, I mean, the class, I should say, is going to be active for the first one active and inside the list item what we're going to do is have a href which is going to be equal to hashtag home area controls equals home it's row it's going to be tab it's data let's just move over a little bit dash toggle is going to be tab and inside here we can simply put the text that we want to display I'm just going to simply put the text home so we want to do and now for the first list item that is done we're going to copy and paste the list item let's change what we need to so we're going to leave the role at presentation we're going to leave actually we're going to to remove the class active because we only want one tab to be active we're going to change the ahref to profile you can change these to what you want again it's relative to what your website what your website is what content you have on there for the area control instead of home and let's put this to profile the role is going to remain as tab data toggle is going to remain as tab and this is going to change to profile and what we're going to do is add a couple of more items and to do those going to simply copy and paste the presentation because that's what it's going to be most identical to and the role is going to remain presentation going to change the ahref to messages can change the area controls to messages oh sorry change the wrong one <laughs> my bad to messages and finally we're going to change the text inside to messages and the last list item, I'm going to change this to settings, change the area controls to settings, and change this to settings. These are basically the buttons that we'll be clicking to switch between the tabs. And now what we're going to do is actually going to create our tab panes, uh, which are the different views essentially. So after the list item, but still within the div which has the role of tab panel, we're going to create a new div going to have a class of tab dash content and inside here what we're going to put is a div and it's going to have a row of tab panel it's going to have a class and it's going to be 
have dash pane and the first one is also going to have a class of active which corresponds to the list item which is active as well so it displays that one first so for example if the second list item was active then you'll put the second tab panel as active so for we're going to have an id which is home this is a great way to identify using jquery or javascript we're not really going to be using this but this is a great way actually sorry we are using it it's right here we do need it because obviously this links to this here that's my bad and inside he actually I'll put this on a separate line inside here I'm just gonna put this is the almighty home page obviously you can put wherever you want you probably want to put pictures list items you'll probably want to put a lot more content in there again that is what you want to do on your website so let's just copy and paste this let's change a few things get rid of the active class I'm going to change this to profile I'm going to put it's me the profile page let's copy and paste this again we don't need to remove anything apart from we're just going to change this text actually we need to change this as well change this to messages I'm going to put messages oh yeah and the final one is going to be settings and I'm going to put settings is the shizzle save it and now if we run this in our web browser you'll see our toggleable tabs scroll down so we have our tab system right here click on it Oops, there it, is. it goes to profile click on it again goes to messages actually you know what what I'm gonna do sorry we're going to go back to the text editor and we're going to copy or cut this and put it at the top it'll be just easy to view we don't have much content in there yeah there that will be fine but again it doesn't really matter where you put it if we refresh there you go we have our toggleable tabs we click profile switches to profile click messages switches to messages if we click setting it switches to setting and if we resize it, it resizes it nicely we've got this nice little styling which indicates which one is clicked if we refresh actually I'm going to go on messages refresh as you can see switches to home and because that is the one that was set as active for the list item and also the content as well just go back you can put whatever you want in there it's totally up to you the next tutorial will cover toggleable tab fading if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk all the required source code will be in the description to see over 2500 videos just like this one for free on various topics visit sonarlearning.co.uk get there today and sign up for free which allows you to take private notes against any of those 2500 plus videos and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.